Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy Heroes video into a brand new episode of State of My Account. I believe this is episode 4. Uh, it's been quite a while since I did my last one because I was waiting for the July road ahead and uh, I have unlocked Reaver now which is great. So as with other episodes I'll briefly go over what characters I'm farming, where I'm at with my account, uh, what I'm doing to improve it and where I'm going to next. Uh, we'll go over ships and things as well and Datacrons of course and then just generally talk about how things are with the game uh, near the end so without further ado obviously if you do like this video like comment is always more appreciated and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and let's just jump straight into it okay so first off we're going to talk about characters as you can see from the board i did actually manage to get third and sister unlocked in the tv just gone uh, unlocked her it is friday now unlocked her yesterday <laughs> on a thursday so she is in there just so I can show you that I've got her Relic 7 now. So luckily we'll be able to use that in Grand Arenas going forward, which is going to be great uh, for my defense plan of things because that should mean that I have a bit more offense power with Inquisitors now rather than just Grand Inquisitor. I am currently slow farming up the characters required for Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. So as you can see, I do have Cal at gear 12. He's been gear 12 for ages. And then I'm farming up Seer, Tarful, Saw and Merin, all at five stars minimum. So not doing too bad. Should hopefully get uh, Jedi Cal when he next drops. So I imagine in probably near Christmas time, I imagine he'll probably come back again. Um, it'll be roughly the same cadence as Grand Inquisitor the first time around, I imagine, something like that. Uh, Ahsoka Sana Fulcrum is on there as well, because as you would have seen in my recent Grand Arena videos, she's just been absolutely destroying me. And I would really like to build a, a CA Omicron uh, Unlive Force users team. So she's on there, uh, just kind of hopefully get her upgraded. Same with Mace and T3. T3 was on my uh, list last time and just never got around to upgrading him. Uh, but now Sorty is Relic 5. He is kind of really the only droid from that team that I don't have at Relic 5. And obviously I would like to get him a Relic 5 so I can use decent data on. Same with Mace. And he is obviously Relic 3 as well. And uh, I think my plan, because I am currently ready for Leviathan. I have all the requirements ready for Leviathan. I'm just waiting for that to drop. I don't think I'm going to get it at a super high level to begin with, uh, but that'll obviously just depend on how many crystals I can save, but not a lot at the moment. Uh, I think I'd have about 3k crystals, um, which isn't enough for even a uh, five star Leviathan, so that's going to be quite interesting. But other than that, and what I'm doing for Genite Calcasters, I think my next plan is probably going to be farming for uh, Galactic Legend Leia. Uh, so that's why I do have Wicket, Rex, and uh, Nisa on my favorite list as well, because while I'm doing my upgrades for my account, I'm just going to switch between one upgrade for Galactic Legends layer and then one upgrade for my account. So uh, I might do like Mace Window first, for example, to the Relic level I want them at. Then I'll do Wicket, Relics and Relic 3 for the requirements. Then I'll probably do T3 afterwards and just keep like going between that because as a free-to-play player, obviously we are going to get stuck behind marquee, players, uh, marquee characters. So I'm not going to be able to get... Obviously, Galactic Legend Leia when she first drops because I, I imagine they'll probably put the marquees out on farm when Leia actually drops uh, or around that time that it will just make it impossible to actually get seven stars before Leia actually drops in the game. So that's why I just tend to do flip between the two and do it that way. In terms of my account, other than that, uh, nothing's really changed so much. I haven't done... I have finished my Tuscans. My Tuscans were still being farmed in the last video haven't actually been able to upgrade them relic wise though but they're all gear 13 relic one at least i will eventually get them to a usable relic so at least relic three first so i can use datacrons and then we'll just kind of see where we go obviously the datacron set for tuscans is going to expire soon and for the raid it kind of seems a bit worthless now but they're quite a good pvp team in threes and stuff so it might be good with a bit of investment uh, nothing else has really changed in terms of my crate teams jars are still the same I use them as like my second team, easy 450k. Also, another big thing with characters is that I am a part of the Gear 12 Club in that I have all characters that I can get to seven star uh, through free to play farms I have at Gear 12. So I have a lot of rubbish at Gear 12. So I'm hoping that this will probably put me at a good standing for the layer requirements. But as you'll see from my Ewoks, which I imagine a lot of layer requirements are going to be, uh, we're not looking too healthy there. We're all at gear 12, no relics at all. If this was my Jamax account, which is now retired, I did actually have a full relic Ewok team. Um, which kind of gutted really that's not this count because that would have helped me out a lot. A lot. 
Also, just quickly mention about Tara Malakos. I will hopefully be getting him uh, unlocked after the three conquests. I do. I haven't gone a conquest without getting Max Crate, so I'm trying to keep that up and hopefully we can continue and get him for a Sigunda team, which should amplify that and maybe even be a Galactic Legend killer. We don't know yet because obviously they are amplified by Ufu Datacrons. But that is pretty much where I'm at uh, character wise. I will now briefly go over ships. So as you can see from ships, still slow farming. Profanity, I will have Profanity at six stars next time his event drops around. I did unlock Scythe, as you, uh, not Scythe, sorry, the Fury Class Interceptor for Malgus, as you can see there. And I think that's pretty so much it ship wise. We don't really have a lot going on until we have Leviathan. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And we will now quickly go over the Datacrons. So since my last video, I haven't really done too much of an investment into my Wandering Wisdom set, which is obviously the Ufu and Tuscan Bronze set. I haven't really done a whole lot there because it just seems to be really lackluster compared to the new one, which I have done a lot of investment with. Uh, so as you can see, I do have some fairly nice Datacron set up. A very nice Basilicron that I'm currently using on Jabba the Hutt because I don't know why it doesn't show you the stats, but it has 300% defense basically. There should be the overview thing button somewhere, but I don't know if there is one unless I'm blind and can't see it. But that is a very nasty Datacron that I've actually just been using with Jabba at the moment. I'm just trying to build up a Jabba uh, Cron so I can actually use that with Basilicron as it's meant for. Uh, I have a Candy Cron as well. That's one's built out for purely protection to use with JML. Sith Trooper has been helping with Hux and First Order Type Pilot in Grand Arena. This Night Sister Darker one is one I recently just did. Uh, just re rolled the stats to get the health and protection on the level threes. Uh, Savage and Sith, Tro Sith Empire Trooper ones I've just been rotating between uh, Malgus teams and uh, general Sith teams on defense and things. But most of the other stage crimes that I have on this set, I'm just trying to get up to a decent level. That's why I'm trying to get most of my characters to Relic 5 so I can actually use these level 5 uh, crons to get all the stats. So a lot of these crons are the health and protection on the level 3. So that's basically what I'm just farming for. I think I'm just trying to get rid of all of the crons where I don't think the level 3 brownies will help me and just get the health and protection because Without any sort of defense pen on any Datacron set, uh, we're kind of screwed in terms of uh, timeouts and things. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the next Datacron set, whether they're actually going to bring armor penetration or def just put defense penetration, just make it generic like they've done with this one. That'd be really helpful uh, to actually just counteract some of the craziness that we have with this Datacron set or this combo set, I should say, um, because it is pretty nightmarish with the amount of defense levels you can get but not a lot of out offense output to counteract it so uh that is where i'm at there and yeah other than that just to generally talk about the game quickly obviously i would like to mention layer uh obviously as you can see i'm doing okay <laughs> for the requirements so far i did have ladder and akbar already done when they announced their requirements obviously wicket i'll get done eventually and then the two will be done once uh they're farmable but I'm just intrigued to see what Leia's kit's going to be like. Let me know down in the comments with what sort of kit you think Leia will actually have. Um, I do believe she'll be an attacker. And I would really like to see some sort of Chewbacca in his ATST uh, ability, whether it's her ultimate or not. Or just like a general AoE ability. I think that could be really cool. Because uh, obviously they do have the ATST and animations and stuff in the game already. All they've just got to do is stick Chewbacca on top of it or have him pop out of the top of the ATST. I think that'd be really cool um but other than that i think she should be quite interesting obviously i'm kind of intrigued to see what's going to happen with the rebels in general i do kind of feel that chupio is going to get pulled out of the cls team because obviously you think about galactic legends and their amplified stats uh, and obviously chupio is going to share all those stats along with r2 and things it'd be pretty crazy you could have a team of uh leia the new Dro drogon or drogon character and then Chupio R2 and then some sort of other rebel then that will change up the meta a little bit with the optimal CLS team which should be quite interesting and nice to see but this is going to be at the end of the video I do hope you've enjoyed watching and had a, a nice quick update on what my account is doing so if you have obviously a like one is always much appreciated and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to not miss any future Star Wars Galaxy Heroes content and I'll catch you in the next one